Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe informed Parliament today that the fire at the Salava Army Camp in Koskama began at an armory. The Prime Minister pointed out that ordinary warehouses were used to store ammunition during the period when the armed conflict was underway, adding that these warehouses were not re relocated due to the lack of financial allocations. Are the necessary measures being taken to restore essential services and ensure the lives of the general public by the removing shrapnel from the area? Is a complete investigation being conducted to ascertain the total damage caused by the fire and explosions and will it be publicized? Please provide an explanation to Parliament as well as the country on the steps that will be taken because the Army Commander is yet to make a statement. <laughs> I mean, it is. We should have expected the commander to give a uh, give a immediate explanation. Yeah. Uh, During the security council meeting yesterday, we decided to conduct a preliminary investigation and then make a statement on it. A tri forces committee was appointed to probe the incident, while the deputy inspector general of police was also appointed to assist the investigation. Such an explosion occurred back in 2010 as well, where even foreign nationals were killed. When storing weapons and ammunition, ordinary warehouses have been used. I think this is something which happens during periods of conflict. The explosion occurred in such an armory. We must ascertain the cause of the fire. Since this camp was by the side of the road, I questioned as to why this storing system was brought here. I was told that a large sum of money had been located to construct the Defence Ministry headquarters and as a result there was a shortage of funds. Intermittent and minor explosions could be reported over the next few years as well. This was what I was told. The government has decided to do what is required to restore everything back to normal under state sponsorship and with the assistance of the armed forces. We have already issued instructions to the National Water Supply and Drainage Board as well as the Ceylon Electricity Board to ensure that the supply of water as well as the supply of electricity is restored. As around 50% of the cleanup operations on the Colombo Avisavilla main road close to the Salava Army Camp is completed, Measures are being taken to reopen the road for vehicular movement by tomorrow. The Sri Lanka Army and Criminal Investigations Department have commenced their investigations into this matter. The government analyst is also assisting in the investigations. I would like to state that moments after we receive the investigation report, the necessary future course of action will be taken.